अच्छे से बीविंग करा रहा था ना इन्होंने मैं स्टार्ट करूँ ना Well, a very good morning to you and uh, welcome uh, to the Oval, the P7 Motor Stadium uh, in uh, Colombo. We are coming to you live on uh, the batsman.com with the first semi final of the MCA uh, Premier League uh, T20 uh, competition. Once again, it has been a very exciting, entertaining uh, tournament. Uh, remember, a couple of weeks ago, we had uh, the uh, limited over the 50 over competition, which of course ended excitingly with uh, TJ Lanka being uh, the overall winners uh, in the knockout uh, tournament. Uh, TJ Lanka once again is in action in this uh, first uh, semi final, and the news uh, from the Saint is that they won the toss and elected uh, to uh, field uh, first. Uh, and their opponents uh, today are the Mass Holdings. They were the league champions, champions of Mass Holdings. Unfortunately, in the knockout tournament, they lost the semi final to LB Finance. But another opportunity here for them uh, to go through to a final in this uh, T20 uh, competition. So TJ Lanka will be uh, uh, filled in first. The two umpires, umpire Ravindra Vimalasiri, loss of international experience. And uh, Chaminda Hathur Singh are the two umpires in the center. Chaminda Hathur Singh, of course, the brother of Chandik Hathur Singh, who is uh, been around the world uh, coaching uh, several teams involved with the Bangladesh cricket. Chamin Dhatur Singh has played a lot of first class cricket, played for the Nomads for quite a long time, and a well respected umpire here in uh, Sri Lanka. So the two umpires are ready, and uh, we are about to uh, start our proceedings. We have the two opening batsmen in the centre. So it's a TM Sampat and Ramita Rambukwell, the two batsmen in the centre. TM Sampat will take strike. Brother of Patilakarat Nadilshan, who is captain in uh, this uh, mass holdings uh, side. And uh, opening uh, the uh, first over is going to be Nuan Pradip, who is uh, running into us. Interestingly, Nuan Pradip, not a part of the Sri Lankan uh, test side uh, at the moment, uh, playing in India, has uh, been given a break, given a rest. He has played a lot of uh, cricket over the last uh, one year or so. Nuan Pradip, all formats of the game. So, so given a, a, a break and, and uh, left out, <coughs> but, but uh, opportunity, opportunity for him here. Yeah. TJ Lanka, of course, will dearly miss the services of Lasit Maling, who captained them to the dead knockout final. final. He's not playing today. And Surangal Akmal, who uh, uh, also was a part of this uh, TJ Lanka lineup, is uh, not available. Surangal Akmal, of course, in India, bowled brilliantly yesterday. In the, the first, first day, day of, of uh, the test, test match. match. So, two bowlers, so uh, they are going to do a deal missed here. here. But still, still a lot of experience for TJ Lanka with the Nuan Pradeep and, and Dhammika Prasad. Prasad. Cannot, cannot get better, two international bowlers, bowlers, test match bowlers. Melinda Sirwadana is the lead in this team today for TJ Lanka. He's at a slip. Jeffrey Wendesey will be in operation with his leg spinners. Uh, good, good delivery. delivery. A bit of extra bounce, bounce outside, outside the off stump. stump. TM, TM Sampa trying, trying to force, force the pace. Cannot, cannot get, get it through. through. <coughs> Those are a few players uh, in this lineup. Kitruan Vitanaga as well. Former international player. A part of the TJ Lanka lineup. So they have quite a strong batting lineup. Kasun Madhushanka, Madhushanka, another, another all-rounder. All ah, outside, outside the off stump, going, going for it. it. Not, Not much, much a foot, foot movement. movement. TM, TM Sampa just, just flashing, flashing blade. blade. That's, That's how, how he plays. He, he likes to go after the bowling. 
but this is uh, Nuan Pradeep, and I'm sure he's not uh, easy uh, to get away uh, with this new ball. So the likes of Tilak Radna Dilshan, Ramit Rambukwal, Mahela Udawatta, who played for Sri Lanka versus Pakistan in the T20s, part of uh, this lineup as well. They have, they have a quite, quite a experienced uh, uh, lineup. Uh, Faris Maruf, the, the all round uh, down, down there, there as well. Nuit Tilakaratna. This could be called wide, is it? Very close to that wide crease. But once again, a little bit of a bounce. We know this overall wicket at the Sara Stadium always has some help, extra bounce for the bowlers, especially over morning conditions. A bit, a bit of grass, grass on the wicket, the wicket and uh, yeah, it's always uh, helped uh, the fast, fast bowlers over the years uh, here at the oval. oval. So Nuan, Nuan Pradeep will be really, really liking like this a bit of grass, grass here. here. Certainly, Certainly so far he's, he's bowled, bowled very well in this uh, first over. Oh, that's, that's an interesting, interesting shot. shot. Well, well, he just hikes it over square leg, plants his left foot down the pitch. Using, using the pace, the pace of a new one, Pradeep, a lot, lot of a wrist in that. that. And that's, that's a run of, uh, of uh, the uh, first, first over of the last ball. ball. Six, six runs, runs to open his account to TM Sampath. Sampath. And, and six, six runs, runs to open the score in for Mas Unichella. First over completed, six without loss. So we so have, have Dhamika Prasad, Prasad, who's going to bowl from the commentator's the box end. No one Pradeep opened the bowling from the media centre end. He had the oval. Dhamika Prasad looking to make a comeback. We all thought he might make it into the Sri Lankan test court, but probably just given a bit more match practice, to get more time to get himself going. He's coming back off a long layoff after a long injury. But a very crafty operator, Dhamika Prasad. Single. Uh, uh, slight so slight misfield, but, but a, a very, very good, good attempt in that cover region. region. A ricochet, a ricochet towards mid off, and uh, Ramakwell has, has uh, opened his account in the very first ball he's faced. Remember, Ramit Ramakwell, TM Sampath were not a part of this lineup during the knockout stages of this MCA tournament. They were in the Hong Kong Sixers in Hong Kong. But really strengthening their team once again. These two players. Oh, flashing blade once, once again outside the off stump, stump going, going for it. For it. Attempt, 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 attempt to drive on the off. off. Beaten. Beaten. So, Minod the Banuka with the gloves of Formas 40 J Lanka. He also, he also was, was away with the Sri Lankan, Lankan A-team team and, and wasn't was really a part, part of, couldn't play a major, major part in the knockout tournament. tournament. I mean, the Banuka. Banuka. But, but coming, coming back, back, taking the gloves. gloves. <coughs> a highly, highly talented, talented player. player. This will be called wide, wide and it will be four runs. runs. So five, so five extra, extra runs, runs to, to the total. total. Poor, Poor delivery, delivery by Damika Basad, way down, down the leg side. No, no chance, chance for the wicket keeper. keeper. And, and uh, uh, Mas Unichela will, will take it. it. They moved, moved up to 12, 12 now. This is much better, much better, much better. looking to charge, charge was the M. Sampath, Dhamika Prasad, getting a bit of movement, angle it into the right hand, he certainly can bowl with a bit of pace, puts a lot of strength at the delivery stride, Dhamika Prasad, a lot of shoulder effort, 
Ranjin Hart gives it 100% every time he goes out there. Yes, a lot of uh, injuries uh, throughout the years. Dhammika Prasad, shoulder injuries, knee injuries. And certainly it's going to be a tough task. Oh, that's a pull shot. It's in there. One bounce for four runs. Quick to latch onto that short ball was TM Sampa. They probably didn't time it as well as he liked to. But certainly got enough uh, wood onto it uh, to take it to the boundary for four runs. He's looking good at the moment. One, six, one, four. Again, good before more. Is it leg by? Is it off the bat? It's off the bat. Dhammika Prasad strain on the leg stump. And, uh, and uh, TM, TM Sampath won't, won't miss out. out. All, All he, he had to do was get some bat onto it, onto it and it's and flown down, down to the final leg boundary, boundary for four more. So the runs, runs are coming in quick uh, session, session at, at the moment. moment. There's, There's moved to 20. 20. We're still, still in the second, second over. over. Sampath 14, uh, two boundaries, one six in his uh, 10 uh, so far, uh, 10 deliveries is uh, faced uh, so far. And uh, 13 runs, uh, or oh, beg your pardon, 14 runs of this over. Now the good looking shot, shot, beautifully, beautifully played, played through mid wicket, sweetly timed, timed. Four, four more to DM, DM Sampath, he is looking very really dangerous, dangerous at the moment, moment. two overs completed, completed 24, 24 without, without loss. loss. So Nuan Pradeep, Pradeep runs in again. Uh, Rambukwella Rambu is, is doing well there. there. He's, he's uh, just, uh, just knocking the singles. singles. He's, he's uh, picked up two. Will, two. Will he come back, back for the third? third. Settle for, for two. two. The first, first ball he faced in the last, in the last over, he picked up a single. Now the very first ball here, he's picked up two. He's a player who is in form, promoted to open the batting for Marcio Nicella to get quick runs in the limited over format. And here, in, the, in uh, the 2020, 2020, usually, usually best, best down, down the order, bowls his off spinners. spinners. <laughs> so, a bit of a change uh, in the side, side screen, screen, is it? A bit of adjustments. Oh, in the air, but wide of that face man who was at Squalag. Dilakaratna, uh, uh, beg your pardon, it's, uh, who picks, picks up two, two nevertheless, it's, it's the left-arm left spinner. spinner. Gave, gave chase, chase and picked up, up. Chalana De Silva from right. right. Two, two runs, runs uh, uh, nevertheless, uh, to, uh, 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 to uh, the batsman. batsman. Rambukwal is moved to five. five. Nuan Pradeep bowling on the leg stump line so far these first two deliveries. Ah, this could be four more. Has he got some bat onto it? It's called wides. So five wides again. This is the second time that TJ Lanka have sprayed. First it was Dhammika Prasad and now the guilty person is Nuan Pradeep. No chance for Minod Banuka behind the stumps. And... Runs, runs are coming, coming very, very, very quickly, quickly here for Yunichela. 33 on the board. We are still in the third over. over. Now, 
This is much better. This is the line one brother pushing the ball into the left hand at Rambukwella. The first three deliveries were on leg stamp. He's angling it in, he's getting a bit of a movement into the left hand. He should just pull on that off stump line. And uh, try to find that uh, gap between the pad and pad. Both batsmen looking for their shots, so always an opportunity uh, for a wicket uh, for the bowler. Well, that's, that's very well bowled, right, right in the block, in the block hole. hole. Rambukwella digs it out under the offside. Good, Good bowling though. though. Good, Good stuff. stuff. Oh, this, oh, this was, was quick. quick. This was Pacey. Tucks him up, hurried him. They scramble, scramble through for a leg by. by. But this, this is, is good stuff, stuff from uh, Pradeep, Pradeep bowling, bowling with extra pace. pace. Uh, a bit, bit uncomfortable, uncomfortable there, around well at that time. time. And they get a get single. single. Ah, oh, he's, he's got, got him. him. He's, he's got, got his man. He's cleaned him up. up. Loose, Loose shot, shot uh, once again. again. TM Sampat, not much foot movement, movement, just, just trying, trying to uh, crash that through the off side. Uh, side. Extra pace, pace from Nuan Pradeep, a big inside edge, edge. And, and onto the, the off stump. Uh, so, uh, richly deserved we got for TJ Lanka. Nuan Pradeep, the man who's picked it up. Sampat, though, 18 of 12 deliveries, 3 4s, 1 6. He battered well, but has to go. And, and uh, Nuan Pradeep, Pradeep has, has uh, got, got his, his man. man. So the first, first wicket down, down for 33. 34, 34 in fact. fact. Three overs completed. 34, 34 for one. one. Mass, Mass Unichela. So the new batsman in is Mahal Olawata, the left-hander, played for Sri Lanka recently in the UAE, the T20s. 34 for one, three overs completed. Oh, it's, oh, in, it's in the, the air, top, top edge, edge. but, but uh, lucky. Rambukwella living there dangerously. Umpire had to think of six, not six. six. Quick, Quick delivery, delivery by Dhamika Prasad, going, going for the pull. And the, and the top, top edge has flown, flown over, over the wicketkeeper's head. head. And, and uh, six, six more to the total. total. They are lived there dangerously. They had a few uh, hiccups uh, here, Mas Unichela. But the runs are piling up. It's moved to 40 now for the loss of one wicket.
Well, it's called a wide that time down the leg side. Well, the new batsman is not Mahalo Dovat. In fact, it's Nadir Navala. So we have a change in some of the jersey numbers. Nadir Navala is coming at the number three for Unicella. And uh, Kasun Madhusanka is, is the bowler at the moment, moment. operating uh, uh, the first uh, change of bowling, replacing Damika Prasad. was a bit erratic, both, uh, both, both, both sides of the wicket went, went for some runs, runs in his, in his first, first over. over. So Kasun Madhusanka given a go. Rambukwala is there, now the Ranavel still to open his account, it's 41 on the board. There have been quite a few extras, 11 extras in fact in this 41 so far. Oh, that's, oh, that's a, a huge, huge hit. hit. That's, that's a massive, a massive one. one. Well, well, it's, it's gone out of, out of uh, the uh, uh, ground uh, here, uh, over the uh, 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 tents uh, here, uh, the uh, oval. Cleared, cleared it quite, quite clear easily, easily was, was uh, Rambo Quella. Once, Once again, again using, using the pace, pace of the bowler, bowler going, going through with the shot, full swing of the bat. And what timing. Six runs to the total. It's moved up to 47 in quite a hurry. And the Rambuk has got, got his, his first, first six. six. So, so under, under pressure, pressure TJ Lanka, Lanka they're, they're really under pressure, pressure here. A strong batting line up, Tilakaratna Dilshan, Mahela Udavata, Chamar Silva, Faris Maruf to follow. It's not going to be easy. So what, what is, is Madhushanka going to do here? here? Oh, he, oh, he blasts blast this uh, through, through the outside. Poor, poor bowling. bowling. Trying, Trying to overcompensate with, with outside the off thumb. Short, short and wide. wide. Easy for Rambo Quella. There, there was, was uh, two, two men there at, there at uh, a cover, cover point and, and uh, sort, sort of an extra cover, deep cover point. But it was right between them. The backward point and the man at point and no chance. Four runs. This is uh, poor bowling, ball in 51, 51 on the board. board. We're, We're still, still in the fourth over. over. The, the current, current run rate is today 13.91. 13 so so a, lot a lot to do for TJ Lanka, Lanka, though they picked up a wicket. Still, uh, they have yeah, a lot, lot to catch, to catch up, up here. here. Now, now the man, the man at, at point, point has gone, has gone to deep cover point on the boundary. And the man who was at deep squalic has come up to the circle. Oh, that was... Interesting. Interesting. Rambukwella saw the man coming into, into the circle from, from square leg. Nobody, nobody deep, in fact. There's a short fine leg. There is a square leg near the umpire. There is a mid wicket and a mid on. So, so Rambukwella was, was looking to clear the infield. It was a slow delivery. He saw it early. Just could not get a bat onto ball. Good cricket all around. The final delivery of this photo. Once again, Once slowing it up, Rambukwella giving himself some room, room trying, trying to crash, crash it to the offside, offside gets a, a, a bit of a bottom edge as it runs, runs uh, to uh, the, the wicket keeper. Four was uh, completed. completed. It's a 51 for the loss of one, one wicket. We, we have a change of bowling. 
will update you who it is. But it's a spin for the first time now today. Coming uh, from the media center end. So Charita Salanka is uh, the bowler. Highly talented, highly capable. Coming out uh, from the Sri Lanka under 19s and now trying to make his way to the big level. Being a part of the Sri Lanka A team uh, recently to West Indies. Just the former Sri Lanka under 19 captain. Now he has a lot to do here. He's uh, bowling uh, still in the power play. So two more overs to go. He has to bowl one over here. And Rambo Quella is a big hitting player. Melinda City Warden has to be very, very careful. He has a short, fine leg. He has uh, one man at the sort of a backward square leg in the circle as well. There's a deep mid wicket and a mid on in the circle. Those are the four men on the on side. City Warden has brought himself to slip. slip. Long, long off is on, on the boundary line. line. So the two fielders out are uh, long, long off and deep, deep mid wicket. wicket. Fires in the throw. Rambukwella picks the single. So far it has uh, been steady stuff. Two runs of the first two deliveries. The uh, short, short fine leg has uh, been moved, moved around. around. Going, Going for the sweep <laughs> will be called leg buys. Probably, probably pitching outside leg stump. Uh, polite, polite inquiry for an LBW. LBW umpire Wimbledon Siri says uh, not out. <laughs> so he's uh, brought, brought some sanity, sanity back here. here. First three deliveries, just the three singles. singles. Gives himself some room, trying, trying to go through the offside. Once, once again, again uh, was uh, uh, Rambo Quella. Only long, long off out on the boundary. boundary. So three so men uh, at extra, extra cover. cover. Backward, Backward point, point, short third. third. And now Sirivar then comes out from slip to a more orthodox extra cover position. Very straight. Good bowling, good bowling. This is good stuff by Young Asalanka. Just, Just the four, four singles, singles of the first, first five deliveries. deliveries. He, he has, has to, to end it here. here. Try to end it well. well. Sort, sort of drag back uh, this uh, run rate. It was uh, almost, almost 14. 14. Now, now it has dropped down, down to 11.38. Another and single, single uh, to uh, end the over. Five, five overs completed. completed. It's, it's uh, 56 for the loss of one wicket. Oh, was that an opportunity? <laughs> we have a change of ball in the second spinner into the uh, equation and number 77. So Dilan Jalak, who opened the batting in fact uh, for TJ Lanka in the knockout tournament in the 50 over competition, is now uh, doing some bowling here. Comes down the track. 
just a single. So the spinners are sort of dragging it back. No pace on the ball. Nuan Pradeep, Madhu Shankar, Damika Prasad, a lot of pace on the ball. Rambu Kuella and uh, TM Sampad used the pace to get those quick runs. There was a few extras as well. But uh, the two spinners uh, bowling wicker to wicket, not giving them anything at all. Bowling flat, bowling quick. Still the power play, the final over of the power play, and Rambo Kuala, I'm sure, knows it. Just the two fielders outside the 30-yard circle, he has to use it. He will be looking for a boundary here, uh, Rambo Kuala, in these final three deliveries. Oh, he's trying his favorite shot. Trying to go inside out of extra cover. He's missed it three times, though. Three times he uh, tried it against uh, Madhushanka, against uh, Asalanka, and uh, now against uh, Jailat. But this is a full toss. Now this is a mistake uh, by uh, Dilan Jailat. It's onto the roof there at the Sati Kumar Stadium, uh, the upper stand. This was uh, a juicy full toss. Easy uh, for Rambo Kuala. And uh, he just puts it away for six. He's a second six. He's moved up to 23. Uh, 29, in fact, of uh, 17 deliveries. 63 for one now. Rambo Kuala has uh, hit uh, three sixes. Uh, one was a top edge of uh, Madhushanka, which flew over the wicketkeeper's head. Uh, one sweet shot, uh, which went out of the ground. And now this one over mid-wicket. One boundary on the offside uh, of uh, Madhushanka in that uh, two overs. Uh, before this, uh, so he's looking good. Jalad is under pressure. The ball is out of the ground. The umpires are waiting for it. The uh, third umpire or the reserve umpire brings uh, a replacement ball. So Saluka Vijay Siri is uh, the third umpire with the balls uh, on the ground. Umpire Hathur Singh uh, is going to resume play. So Rambuk, Rambuk, uh, Rambuk, uh, Rambuk Kuala, Ramit Rambuk Kuala, in fact, has uh, hit uh, two out of the ground here. That has held up play. Strong, powerful lad, the left-hander. From Royal College, Colombo. More off-spinner, but now has developed his batting. Has worked a lot on his uh, batting, uh, Rambu Kuala. Going for a quick single. Navala is home. It was a reasonable over. Just uh, went for eight runs. So eight runs in a power play is uh, good. Six overs completed. 64 for the loss of one wicket. So Asalanka will continue to bowl his off spinners. Uh, they are coming back for the second. Could be tight. Uh, oh, directed certainly would have been tight. But excellent running uh, between the wickets, particularly uh, Navala. He saw it early. He was the non-striker. Came very quickly. Tearing back for the second. This is good stuff uh, by uh, Unicella. Goes big, handsome, high, over, long on, over the scoreboard. It's once again into those uh, trees down there. And they will have to find the ball, the ground staff, who is uh, sitting next to the uh, scoreboard. You know at the oval, it's a fairly uh, big boundaries here. 
And uh, it's not just the ropes that it's cleared, it's over the scoreboard. So that's a massive hit. It would have been six anywhere, any ground uh, in the world, that would have been six. And Rambuk Vala using all his power, using his height, in fact, to get under it and launch Asalanka for six. Uh, so 72 now. And Rambuk Vala with four sixes has moved to 38 of just 20 deliveries. Under pressure is TJ Lanka. Dhamika Prasad has been expensive. Nuan Pradeep though picked up a wicket, went for a few runs. Uh, Kasun Madhushanka has been expensive in the always bold. It's now down to the two spinners uh, who is trying to control things. They have Jeffrey Vandersey who will uh, come to do some bowling uh, definitely. Uh, Milinda Siriwadhana, so another test player who they can uh, depend on. Those are the two bowlers that uh, they have. But uh, they need to contend. They need to get a Rambukwell out here. He's looking very dangerous. This time uh, gives himself some room. There is a uh, sweeper cover in position, just a single. Another single on the onside, easy pickings. Rambukwell rotating the strike after he got that big hit. So, so far we have uh, 11 runs of this over, one delivery left. Salanka needs to keep it tight here. He's gone for 15, he's uh, had a reasonable spell so far. Two overs into his uh, second over, just 15 runs. So now we're, uh, unable to get the boundaries, but he's rotating the strike well. He's moved up to 5 of 8. 7 overs completed. It's a 76 of 4 1. So we have uh, pace once again, Dhamika Prasad, the experienced man taking the ball, <laughs> replacing Dilan Jalat. They're looking for a wicket here, looking to get rid of Rambukwella. Oh, that's a fiery delivery. Beats a Navala on that off stump. He was pushing at it. A bit of a movement, extra bounce, extra pace. <laughs> that's good stuff. Uh, he has to keep bowling in that uh, area. So Sirivadhan is uh, certainly looking to, to get a wicket here. And he's uh, brought his uh, experienced man into the attack. Yeah, this is uh, the problem Damika Prasad has had today. Strain very wide down the leg side. Wicket keeper has uh, no chance to get a glove onto it. Four wides, uh, once again, or five wides. Uh, in fact, uh, this is uh, the third time, twice by Damika Prasad, one by Nuan Pradeep. So 15 ha have gone uh, through those uh, extras uh, altogether. I think 16 wides today so far. It's proven really costly. 81 now. They're still in the eighth over. 
And uh, DJ Lanka need their experienced bowlers bowling well there. They need them to fire. That's better. That's better. Just a single. Much better by Damika Prasad. So 11.18 is the run rate. Didn't uh, time that all uh, well. It was short and wide. Rambo Kuala trying to probably hit it too hard. Got the bottom of his bat. He'll uh, pick up a single though. 41 uh, to him of 23. Seven runs of this over so far. Three deliveries left. Tamika Prasad has to tighten it up. He's been very, very expensive. He's gone for 25 so far. Much better, much better on midland leg. And Naval has uh, struggled, in fact, to really uh, get going. He's uh, picked up the singles, rotated the strike. But as you see, 6 of 11 deliveries hasn't got a boundary yet. Hasn't been uh, really uh, able to get on top of the bowling. Uh, I'm surprised just to see him at uh, number 3, in fact. Uh, with a such a strong, deeper batting uh, lineup. I would have expected uh, the uh, uh, the likes of Mahela Udavata to come in at 3. Or Tilakaratna, Dilshan, you know, Chamar, Silva. They have those players. So it's uh, really surprising to see in a T20 game to see somebody like uh, Navala uh, of the order. And uh, this is rather surprising. Let's see two dot deliveries. He's uh, struggling to get Dhamika Prasad. He's bowling with a bit of pace. And uh, I feel that uh, Marcio Nichel have uh, missed the trick here. Because Maile Udavata is a top order batsman. Silakaratna Dishan is a top order batsman. They should have got them. They have a Maharuf to follow. So who can uh, use the long handle? Maruf has uh, scored a half century yesterday as well, batting at number three. So to see Navala here is uh, certainly uh, something uh, mysterious uh, for me. Well, this was expected. Navala was uh, nowhere. He looked totally out of sorts, just uh, swinging widely at uh, Dhamika Prasad, and his uh, stumps have uh, been. Uh, Scattered uh, middle stump to knock back good stuff, good comeback by Damika Prasad after bowling that wide. He kept it straight. You miss, I hit, and Navala missed it completely. He's bowled for six. He faced 13 deliveries, uh, no boundaries. Strike rate of 46, and uh, not good enough. Second wicket down uh, for 83 at the completion of uh, the eighth over. So Asalanka will 
keep bowling. His bowling is a third over. Fawi is a Maharuf. Has been in good form. 52 yesterday in one of uh, the knockout games. And there goes Rambukwala. High and handsome. Wide off a mid wicket for six runs. Uh, just uh, using uh, the long handle there. Using the angle of the bowler, Asalanka coming round the wicket. He's uh, firing it in uh, to the left hander. And uh, Rambukwala just going uh, oh, with it. He's fifth or sixth, in fact, uh, to Rambukwala. He'll now move on to 48 with a single. It's 90 for the loss of uh, two wickets. This is looking at a big score with Maruf here. We still haven't seen Udavata or uh, Tilakaratna Dilshan. That shows that the depth uh, and uh, the uh, talent, the experience uh, of uh, uh, the uh, Unicella side, that they have enough uh, players uh, to rotate, to use whenever they want, who have uh, so much experience and uh, can come in at uh, any situation. So at the moment, TJ Lanka is really under pressure. Ah, uh, goes uh, through backward point, diving towards his left, cannot get a hand onto it. Four more, a well-made half century to Rambukwala. He's moved to 52 of just 27 deliveries. It has been a highly impressive innings. He's uh, struck off. In fact, he struck off five sixers in that innings. Three boundaries. Uh, two boundaries as well, I beg your pardon, five sixers, it has been a highly impressive innings, he's rotated the strike, he's picked up the singles uh, when the bowlers uh, have bowled well, but uh, he's uh, really gone off both the pace and the spinners, three sixers against uh, the spinners, two sixers against the pace bowlers, so it has been a very, very uh, good innings, uh, nine overs completed, 95 for two. Well, Jeffrey Van Der Sey into the attack. Jeffrey Van Der Sey has got his man. Fly the delivery on off some. And Maruf going for the boom and drive. Hits his trick to extra cover. And uh, he's out uh, uh, without uh, scoring. He's out for one, in fact, uh, Maruf. So it's 95 for two. And uh, Van Der Sey using his experience. Maruf for half century yesterday. But uh, today... He has to go for just one. Three down now for 95 uh, at the moment, uh, Mas Unicella.
So the catcher was the Chalana De Silva at extra cover. Uh, he's played very well for TJ Lanka. Bowled very well in the uh, 50 over competition. Batted well. So he's been a very good player for them. Still to bowl in this uh, match. But who and they have struck. He's got rid of Maruf, the experienced man for one. But uh, that brings in uh, even better player. Tilakaratna Dilshan is uh, the new man in. The captain for Unichela batting at uh, number five. Hasn't, uh, in fact, uh, batted, I think, uh, in this uh, T20 competition yet. And uh, a single straight away to get off the mark. A juicy full toss on leg stump. Tilaka Radna Dilsan picks up one. Very lucky, Rambukwell uh, living dangerously, scooped one over Jeffrey Van Der Sey. He was looking to uh, just uh, roll his wrist and turn it on the onside, got a leading edge. And Van Der Sey was on his follow through, could not reach up to it. Rambukwell uh, is uh, lucky, he's picked up one more. He's bowling well here. Just the two runs uh, or three runs uh, so far, or two runs in fact, in this over. Goes for the river sweep, Dilshan makes contact. The fieldsman adjusting well. Uh, Nuan Pradeep, in fact, he's at backward point. He had to do the job there because it was a reverse sweep. The ball sort of uh, turned away from him. <laughs> and uh, Nuan Pradeep adjusted it well. Now he's been uh, rotated. Milinda Sirwadana has moved uh, to that point position. And uh, Nuan Pradeep has uh, moved uh, into. Uh, well, again, he's changing the uh, feeling. He's coming to slip now. He's coming to slip, in fact, uh, Sirwadana. Oh, that was a quickish delivery. Dilshan on the back foot. Good over by Van Lasse. Just the two runs. Picked up the wicket of Maruf. 10 completed at 97 for 3. So Dhammika Prasad is uh, bowling the 11th over change of ends for Dhammika Prasad, interestingly. He's, uh, he bowled uh, his uh, couple of overs in two spells here. Opened the bowling from the commentator's box and came back for his second over. Picked up the wicket of uh, Navala. But now he's uh, been replaced from the opposite end, the media center end. He's gone for 30, but uh, so far the first two deliveries on the spot. To Rambukwella, he's on 53 of 29. Well shown on one. The run rate is 10.03. They dragged it back a, a bit uh, here, uh, TJ Lanka. They've done well. It was over 13 at one time. But still a lot to do with uh, Udawatta, Chamara Silva to follow. A lot of uh, batting to come uh, for Marcio Nicella. Oh, very well.
Well bowled. No foot movement to Rambukwella, just pushing his bat. Good stuff by Dambika Prasad. Well, 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 if he hit, Rambukwella would have been a goner. Lots of time, but to fail to knock the stumps at the non-striker's end. Looking for the single, poor judgment between Rambukwella and Adil Shan, but uh, he's uh, safely through at the end. 54 to Rambukwella, it's 103 on the moment. Good stuff. Damik, uh, Damika Prasad versus Tilakarat Nadeshan. Now, this is high quality cricket. Oh, the stumps, uh, Dilshan looking to work it on the onside. Hits it straight back towards the bowler. They played together for a long time for Sri Lanka at various levels. Oh, he's given him. Umpire Vimala Siri raises his finger. Dammika Prasad has got his man darting back at Tilakaratna Dilshan, walking into that shot, missed it completely. And Umpire Vimala Siri certainly thought uh, that the non uh, stumps would be knocked back. So Dilshan has to go. Big wicket. Dammika Prasad has picked up two now. First the Navala clean ball. Now Dilshan LBW for one. He faced five deliveries. So he's bringing his uh, team back uh, into the game using all his experience, changing ends, and it has uh, worked for him. Uh, 22 extras in this total of 103, so that has uh, been a, a big factor. If you remove that 22, it would have been 81, which would have been uh, approximately around 8 runs per over. But uh, they're crawling their way back. Now they got out some dangerous uh, players. Uh, they got uh, TM Sampa, Tilakaratna Dilshan, Maharuf. Three dangerous players are out. And uh, certainly uh, drag themselves uh, back into this game. Uh, this way, bring in Mahal Udawatta. Uh, the left hander uh, into the centre. He's batting here at uh, number six. Coming in, played for Sri Lanka in the UAE in the T20s. Uh, didn't make uh, much of an impression. <laughs> Got a, a comeback there. Half century uh, he made uh, so far in this tournament. But he'll have a lot to do here. Yeah, Dhammika Prasad and Jeffrey Van Der Sey bowling in tandem. They're bowling well. And uh, certainly uh, now they need a bit of a partnership here. They need uh, to resurrect this innings. They have lost three quick wickets. Navala, uh, Maharuf and then uh, Dilshan. Three quick, uh, quick wickets uh, have fallen in the last three overs. Excellent stuff, excellent over by uh, Dhammika Prasad, 11 completed, it's 103 for the loss of 4 wickets.
So when the say continues, uh, the first delivery, the slide, rushed uh, Rambukwell. He was on the back foot. He picked up a single, nevertheless. He picked up the wicket of uh, Maharuf in the last over. When they say part of the Sri Lanka's limited over and T20 teams will be definitely touring India later on when the ODI series and T20 start. Another part of the test team. Oh, once again, a leading edge. Udawata playing early, trying to turn it away on the onside. Oh, that's very well ball. That was the googly. That turned away from Udawata, the left-hander. We wonder if he saw it early, but he was beaten outside the off stump. He's uh, using his variations here. Oh, this time, ball in the quicker one. Udawata going for the river sweep. Doesn't make proper contact. This is good stuff. Jeffrey Wendes here using all his uh, skill, all his talent. Uh, changing the field now. Yes, uh, he's uh, brought an extra man onto the offside. Uh, Nuan Pradeep has gone to short third. Uh, Siri Bodhana to backward point, and one man has come into extra cover from mid wicket. Flight uh, delivery, though. Udavata turns it away towards uh, long on. He'll pick up a single. He's off the mark, Udavata. Certainly, this is very good stuff uh, by Jeffrey Van der How is uh, Rambukwella going to tackle him? Still the same field. A deep uh, long off. There's a long off and uh, a sweeper cover on the offside, uh, patrolling the boundary. Udavata, go, uh, beg your pardon, Rambo Quella has hiked that though over mid wicket or over Skralik for six runs. It was a flight uh, delivery, hit it with the turn, lots of power, lots of bottom end, clears Skralik quite easily. He's the sixth of six in this innings, 12 overs completed. It's 111 for four. Rambo Quella is on 61, Udavata is on one. So Charita Salanka will bowl his final over. He's been impressive. Bowl tidily. 111 Nelson on the board at the moment. They're still to see between the Siri Vardana or Chalana De Silva do some bowling. Good running between the wickets. Early call by uh, Rambo Quella responding. That could be called a wide. Fired it in. Really quick delivery. He probably thought that uh, Ramukwella will charge him. But Ramukwella stayed in his crease. Oh, uh, going for a big hit once again, looking for that uh, mid-wicket region. Across the line, doesn't make contact. Very lucky that didn't go on to the stumps. 
very closer to the leg stump. This time it's in the air, could be out caught. Oh, it's a clear the ropes though. He didn't really time that very well, but it went very high into the skies. The man at midwicket was waiting for it. It is clear him for his 7 6 Rambukwala. This is power hitting, in fact. He's just using his power to muscle it over the boundary line. He's moved up to 67, and the total now to 119. 67 included 7 sixers, so 42 have come in sixers. I think 1 4 uh, to his name. And this has been highly impressive. This time powers it down towards a long off. So Asalanka has gone for 36 now, 37 in fact. Gives him to have some room, uh, cuts it to backward point. Four runs uh, to the water, his first boundary. He saw the gap on the offside, intentionally uh, giving himself some room. Used the pace of the bowler. Lots of skill and he's uh, picked up a four more. So single to end the over 13 completed, 125 for the loss of four wickets. T.M. Sampath was out for 18, Nawala for 6, Maru for 1, Dilshan for 1. Those were the wickets to fall. Rambukwala has uh, held this innings together with his uh, 68 of uh, 36. And uh, Udubatta giving him uh, some uh, support at the moment. Uh, Wanda say will continue. Uh, yes, so say will uh, continue to bowl. Uh, the current run rate is 9.62. Changing his field around, there's a short fine. There's one man, uh, Sirivadana, at uh, mid-wicket. There's a short third man in uh, Nuan Pradeep who is uh, stretching a bit. Probably we'll see Nuan Pradeep coming to bowl quite soon. Oh, mixed up. Oh, if he hit, he would have been a goner and it's overthrows. Udavata wanted the single. Rambukwala sent him back. The wicket keeper quick onto it to throw down the stumps but missed. And they're giving away a, la a single. A lucky single though. Should have been a run out, I feel, uh, there for TJ Lanka. This could be out. One man under it. Oh, this is a costly, costly drop. Simple catch for Kasun Madhushanka coming in from a long off. Jeffrey Vander said, teasing Rambukwella, miscued hit. He was trying to go over long off in the air for a long while. Kasun Madhushanka came under it and uh, really couldn't get his hands under it. This is a big, big, big uh, wicket. Jeffrey Wenders is bowling brilliantly. He deserved that one. And it was a dangerous uh, Rambukwala. TJ Lanka certainly uh, will be disappointed uh, not to get uh, rid of uh, uh, Rambukwala. This time the slider, the quicker one. Rambukwala is uncomfortable against Wenders. He's not reading him at the moment. He's just trying to sort of uh, fight his way, power his way through. And he's living dangerously. This time again, but this time he's cleared the ropes quite easily. He's timed that sweetly into the holdings uh, wide of long off for six more. The second six he's hit off of when they say he's eight six in this innings. But uh, this is uh, what happens. You draw, he had his man, it was dropped, and now he's been hit for six. Ramit Rambukwala, eight sixers, uh, two fours. 
And if you could see, most of the sixers have been on the onside. One over long off the one just now and one over third man. This time comes uh, towards us, over long on. It's onto the roof here in the main pavilion area. Rambo Guella, he is uh, really going after Vendese now. Two sixers in two balls. Well, well, well. The total has moved up to 140. Rambo Guella is on 82 of 40 with nine sixers. This is uh, a bit of a massacre here at the moment. And uh, Vendese, who was bowling brilliantly, has now gone for 25. Well, you had the opportunity, did not take it. And what is running through Madhushankar's mind at the moment? He's uh, certainly probably just thinking they are at deep extra cover. What have I done? Since he's uh, dropped the catch, they have gone for two sixes, uh, 12 runs already in two deliveries. Oh, good comeback, good comeback. Beautiful delivery. The googly to beat uh, Rambukwella. 14 completed, 140, 140 for four. So Nuan Pradeep, one for four, 15 of two overs. Dambika Prasad, two for 31 of three. Madhushank expensive, 17 of his one. Asalanka, went for 42, completed his uh, four overs. Dilan Jailat bowled one over. And Wendes said three overs, uh, one for 25. Uh, I've so far done the bowling. So as I said, I saw him uh, warming up earlier on. Is it Nuan Pradeep or will it going to be uh, Damika Prasad? I think it's Kasun Madhushankar. Now this is an interesting change. He just dropped a catch and now he's uh, brought back into bowl. <laughs> so what is uh, Sirivad that are thinking? Yes, because he's uh, disappointed. He's going to try his best and try to get a wicket. But certainly it will be uh, uh, working on his mind. So it's uh, going to be a very interesting change. Kasun Madhushankar running into us. And Udawata has whipped his off his presence. Full delivery on middle and leg. Nobody at deep mid wicket. Mahalo Udawata has uh, cleared uh, the infield quite easily for more. Madhushankar has to come back strongly. He's dropped a catch. He's gone for four. They haven't many pace options. They have a lot of uh, spin options, TJ Lanka, but they have only Duan Pradeep, Damika Prasad, and now Madhushankar to both seam. So they want the seam bowlers bowling against Rambu Kuala. That is the plan here. Because uh, they know that Rambu Kuala can clear the boundary quite easily if he gets hold of the spinners. We saw that against Vendase. He hit a couple of sixers. He hit a couple of sixers against Asalanka. So that is why that Siri Warden has not come into bowl. He has not bowled Chalana De Silva as yet. So he's holding back the spinners and using the pace bowlers against uh, Rambu Kuala. But Madhushanka has to really come back strongly. He has to a lot to deliver here. He needs to get a wicket. He could uh, redeem himself, get some revenge here if he gets rid of uh, Rambu Kuala. Down the leg side once again. Another wide. One more to the extras column. This has been a real problem uh, for TJ Lankar right throughout the day.
Ahorita que ves con Daniel aquí al lado. It's a good comeback by Kasun Madhushanka in this over after being hit for four. Once again, trying to muscle it, uh, trying to power it. Uh, uh, didn't time it at all, uh, was Mahalo Udawata. Just a single. Good comeback, uh, in, in fact, after being hit for a boundary. Just a few singles, uh, uh, three singles, uh, in fact, and a wide. Uh, so much better by Kasun Madhushanka. 15 completed, 148 for four. Five, five overs uh, remaining. So will they get uh, to 200 runs? If uh, Rambukwella is there, I certainly think they could get to 200 runs. It's going to be a big target. But very capable uh, of uh, getting there is uh, Unichella at the moment. So Dhammika Prasad once again uh, changing ends. He bowls two overs uh, from this end. The commentator's box end bowled one over uh, from the opposite end where he picked up Tilakaratna Delshan. And now he's uh, come back again uh, from this end uh, to bowl one over. The commentator's box end bowling to Udawatta. Two for 31. Good comeback. Was very expensive in his first over. He's bowled a few wides down the leg side which has uh, gone for extras for boundaries. <coughs> but when he's bowled straight... He's uh, really bold on a good length. Udawata yeah. giving himself some room. Hits it in the eyes. Oh! Chalana De Silva is safe in the field, but he's dropped a catch. Dammika Prasad is really angry. Udawata charging the bowler. Hit him it on the offside, straight down the throat to the man at deep extra cover. It was an easy catch. He sort of had it in control. Chalana De Silva can't under it. I thought he took it comfortably and it burst through his hands and went down for four. It's not the drop catch. It went for four runs as well. Uh, and that has uh, been uh, a real uh, important moment in this game. Two drop catchers now. This time again, scooped in the air. This time will he take it? Oh, he's dropped it again. Chalan and De Silva, it was a difficult chance this time. Good effort though. Running in, diving forward, but once again uh, getting his hands under it and uh, another drop catch. Well, uh, he's been a very good uh, fielder right throughout. He's been a good player for TJ Lanka. This is the first time I really saw him uh, in this mercantile tournament making such mistakes. Two drop catches in two balls. The first one was a simple one. The second one a bit difficult but should have been taken. Dhammika Prasad should have had uh, Mahal Udawata out twice. Rambukwella should have been dismissed earlier on by Van de Say. Now this is going to prove really costly for TJ Lanka. They are fielding. He's bowling his heart out here. Oh, that was pace. Good stuff. Overthrows. It's all happening. They're giving away a couple of uh, overthrows or single. A good bowling. Rushed to Dambik. Uh, rushed Rambuk. Well, got an outside edge. No one, Pradeep, though, did the right thing. Throwing at the stumps, but there was no one backing up. 
another extra run. <laughs> it's uh, a bit uh, proven costly. Damika Prasad is uh, really angry. He should have got his uh, third wicket. He's gone for 38. But uh, I'll tell you, he has bowled much better than his uh, figures uh, speak through. Uh, this time, it's coming towards us. Oh, I was wondering if it was going to hit our cameras here. That's six runs. Now, this is good hitting uh, by Rambo Quella. Clearing his uh, right leg, giving himself some room. Straight as a dice, right over the bowler's head. And into the side screens uh, for six runs. Now hitting Damika Prasad over his head is not easy, but Rambo Quella is using his power 91 of 44. 10 sixers to Ramut Rambo Quella. Oh, Damika Prasad <laughs> dropping it short, digging it in. Uh, well, he's been hit for six, but he should have had his uh, man, Hudavata, earlier on. He's gone for 44 of his four was picked up two wickets, uh, 16 completed, 161 for four. Charging the bowler, but he kept it full straight. Just a single to Udavata. He's given the strike back to Rambo Kuala. You could uh, not call him a boundary hitter. In fact, he's a six hitter. Ten sixers, two fours. He really likes to clear the boundary. Strong, built, very tall, good reach. And he's uh, done well for Marcio Nicella. Once again, uh, clearing himself, uh, trying to give him some room to power it on the offside. But a um, good bowling by Madhu Shankar dropped it short. He's uh, bowled well since his uh, first over, which he was went by 17. He's uh, come back strongly. Drop catch as well, a costly miss. But uh, he could redeem himself here yeah, if he can get a couple of wickets to drag this back. Well, four more. Just clearing himself, Udawata, hammering it away through mid wicket. He moves up to 24 now. That was his second boundary, Mahal Udawata. He's another player in form. I'm uh, just planting his foot, trying to paddle it away. Uh, intention was good. Just picks up a single, though. Trying to use the pace of the bowler once again. Udawatta. Well, they're coming back for the second. Two more good run in between the wickets. Udavata is quick. Two more to uh, Rambo Kuala.
Well, that's a fabulous 100. He's got it with a six. Ramit Rambukwella, another six to him. 11 sixers in this innings. He's uh, treated the fast bowlers, the spinners equally. Just 48 balls. 11 sixers are two fours. Runs right along the wicket. Around the ground. More powerful on the onside. Just the two sixers on the offside. The rest are nine sixers on the onside. It has been a power hit in innings. More sixers uh, than fours. And what a way to get to it with a six as well. He's really uh, hammered the TJ Lanka bowling. They have some good bowlers. Dhamika Prasad, Juan Pradeep, Jeffrey Van Der uh, All have uh, been uh, taken apart by Ramit Rambukwala. Had his uh, chance, a uh, drop chance, when uh, uh, Madhu Shankar dropped a simple chance uh, when he was in the 80s. But he's not given up 148 deliveries. And it has been a very good inning. 17 completed. It's 176 for four. A full toss and hammered over mid on. No chance for Jeffrey Van Der Say, who was in the 30 yard circle. Over his head, Udavata picks up a boundary. He's moved to 29 now for 21. His runs have uh, come rather quickly. And Mars Unichel are getting close to the 200 rand mark I was talking about. Uh, Nuan Pradeep has to really do something special here. He has to bowl these uh, two good overs. If TJ Lanka to keep this uh, under 200. That's right in the block all, but uh, Mahela Udawata straight as a dice. Powerfully struck, straight back past the bowler. Mid off was in the circle. He had uh, no chance. And that's uh, four more. Now, this is excellent stuff. Excellent batting uh, by Mahela Udawata. He's uh, moved up uh, to 33 quite quickly. Just 22 deliveries. 184 for four. The one Pradeep, two fours of the first two deliveries. He has a sweeper cover on the boundary. Long on is out there as well. It's a deep scroll leg and a deep third man. Those are the four men on the boundary line uh, for Nuan Pradeep. Oh, dangerous, dangerous. Milo Udavata walking across his thumbs, trying to paddle, sweep it away. Doesn't make proper contact. Probably hit his uh, bat handle or the glove, but he's got a single. Appealed by Nuan Pradeep. He saw short final in the circle, tried to use the pace of the bowler. Intention was good, but uh, didn't really execute the shot. But Rambukwala, the dangerous Rambukwala is on strike. Another single. So Nuan Pradeep, after hit being hit for two boundaries, giving away just two singles. Very well ball right in the block hole. Once again, Milo Udavata trying to 
Giving himself some room, hit it through the offside, but uh, Nuwan Pradeep following him. Couldn't get under it. Good comeback. Two boundaries, three singles now. Still 11 runs off the over, but uh, much better by Nuwan Pradeep. He needs to finish it off well here. The final delivery of his 18th over. He's third. Adishanka probably will bow the 19th, and uh, Nuwan Pradeep uh, will finish off uh, with the 20th. Paddles it away on the onside. Will it be a boundary? Good effort on the line, but fails to cut it off. That's four more runs. Rambukwella getting himself another boundary. This is only his third boundary. He's at 11 sixes, so remember. Nuan Pradeep is disappointed. 18 completed, 191 for four. So Kasun Madhushankar runs in. Udawatta trying to power it away, just a single. Madhushankar is into his uh, final over. He's gone for 41. He needs uh, to bowl well here. His final five deliveries. They're definitely going to go to the 200 mark. But uh, risk much damage as possible in this final two overs. A big task ahead for TJ Lanka when they come out to bat. <laughs> for a big hike, trying to swing it over mid wicket. Doesn't make contact, Rabukwella. So we got Madhushanka has got his man finally. He should have got rid of Rambukwella a long time ago when he was in the 80s. Uh, he dropped a catch off for Jeffrey Van Der See. But a big inside edge and a wicket to Ramit Rambukwella. It has been a very good innings. 11 sixers, three fours, just 52 balls for his 105. And look at the strike rate, 201 uh, strike rate. It has been brilliant stuff uh, by Rambutha Rambukwala. Deserves uh, applause uh, from his uh, teammates in the dressing room. It has been a very good innings. He has uh, set the way uh, for Marcia Yunichala. His second brilliant innings, a uh, couple of games ago, he scored a 90 of a 30 uh, de deliveries in one of the matches. And today is followed up with that uh, sparkling innings, uh, uh, Ramit Rambukwala. Chamra Silva is uh, the new man in. Coming very late down uh, here to bat. The 19th over, but finally uh, some redemption uh, for uh, Madhushanka.
So Chamber Silva is on strike. Oh, that first delivery is hit it for six. Chamara Silva goes deep into his crease and just launches Kasun Madhushanka over long on for six runs. Even Maila Ulavata, the lone striker, is surprised at that because Chamara Silva is a player who likes to take a bit of a time first. But uh, he just wasted no time at all and uh, everybody was taken by surprise as he, he easily timed that really well. And uh, that was uh, six runs all the way. Well, I think uh, what was happening this is the first time I have seen this in my life. Chamara Silva was trying to give himself some room, walk across his trumps and hit Kasun Madhushanka. But what happened was I feel that uh, he lost his foot and he slipped. And uh, he was behind the stumps when he got bowled. So probably he just ran back too much and uh, really messed uh, it up uh, completely. Madhushanka has got his man, but uh, they won't mind. Uh, they are looking for runs. They don't mind the, the wickets falling. They want to get runs as quick as possible. Two balls, five, six runs. Chamber Silva goes. He, he sort of uh, ran back. Or I really don't know what was happening out there. But uh, nevertheless, uh, he's uh, out uh, for six. Madhushank has picked up his second wicket. The new batsman, probably Tilaksa Sumanasiri. Number three on his, uh, behind his uh, T-shirt. Opens himself uh, up, gives himself some room, runs it down towards the third man. Uh, pick up a single. A bit of expensive over, but he's uh, completed it with the two wickets. 19 completed, 199 for six. The final over coming up. How much will they get? Current score they will get to 209. But uh, they will be looking for at least uh, 10 to 12 runs uh, in this final over. With Uduvata on strike. But it's not easy. It's going to be a new one for the pull for the final over. It's coming towards us. And uh, all Lampa Hathur Singh can do is raise his arms. That's six more. This time it's a Tilaksha Sumanasiri, who is just a launch new one, Pradeep Bova Long, off for six. This has been a really hammer in for TJ Lanka. We could not say that they have a weak bowling lineup because this is a good bowling lineup. No one, Pradeep, Dhammika Prasad, Jeffrey Wendersey. All the solid bowlers, international bowlers. We haven't seen a million the city world in a bowl today. That's a dot ball. Could be a run out. Yes, he's out. Uh, umpire Wimbledon City raises his finger. Uh, well, even I'm surprised. I thought, uh, I thought, <laughs> I thought, whatever they got home, but didn't he crease? I thought he was over the crease. Well, that's an interesting call by umpire Wimbledon City. I thought uh, he looked a bit surprised, but he's given run out, underarm throw by the wicket keeper. Good work behind the stumps. Uh, another wicket down. And uh, the seventh wicket down uh, for Marcio Nicella. Udavata, he's been run out for 36. 26 deliveries he faced. He's been a very good innings, uh, supported Rabukwala. 
in that very good partnership. And uh, six boundaries at a strike rate of 144. Brilliant stuff. And another wicket down uh, for Marcio Nicola in this final over. That's in there, could be out caught. Finally, a catch taken. Finally, a catch taken on the boundary line. A good catch it was, too. He had to keep his uh, bound, uh, balance, Dylan Jalat. He had to keep his balance. He was running a few meters towards his left. It was going for six. And uh, the left handed uh, Fernando is out. Anuk Fernando is. Uh, Anuk Fernando has been dismissed uh, out for the first ball. He played it well, got bad onto it, but uh, the fieldsman uh, deserved that, that catch. So another wicket to Nuan Pradeep, the eighth wicket down for Unichella. A few wickets falling in this final over, looking for runs. And uh, this will bring back Sumana City on strike. He's already struck a six. And uh, the new batsman uh, probably will be Shara Marasinga. Is it? Two men uh, remaining, Ishara Amar Singh and uh, Duvinda Tilakaratna. So probably Ishara Amar Singh. Uh, or is it uh, Duvinda Tilakaratna? Who is coming to bat? Probably not expected to bat, and uh, he had to rush, I think. Get his pads on. <laughs> Super City, though, is on strike. A single uh, Sumana City should be looking for two. Oh, no chance for the second. So Tilakaratna will have the last ball and strike. Good over by Nuan Pradeep. He was hit for six in the very first ball, but then that run out. Then the man caught at the boundary line. He's managed to drag it back. Yes, so Sumana City uh, single. Oh, it's in the air. Could be out. Oh, brilliant attempt uh, by Dilan Jalath once again at the deep uh, third man. Keeps it to a single. Dilakaratna gets off the mark. Flashing blade. He'll be relieved to get to the non-strikers in. Give his uh, senior man uh, the strike. So many series. Oh, goes for a big hit. Could be out, run out. Well, that's the end of the innings. Good stuff by Nuan Pradeep. Good comeback at the end uh, to drag it back. Uh, and uh, the total is uh, 207. So this has been a good, uh, good uh, batting performance by Mas Yonichella, led by Rambo Kuala. Brilliant 100. So 207 is uh, what they got, and uh, a brilliant 100, 11 sixers, three boundaries in that innings uh, for Ramit Rambukwal, was well supported, uh, 36 by Mahala Udawat, they were the two main contributors in the start, uh, 18 uh, to TM Sampath, uh, he got going but uh, could not uh, keep up. The bowling was uh, shared, uh, pick off the bowlers to me, Jeffrey Van Dessay, who bowled three overs, uh, has received the scorecard, 105 of 52, 11 sixers, four boundaries, brilliant innings, Sampath 18, Navala just six, Marufman, Dilshan one, they failed, 
With about a good 36. Chamar Silva 6. Sumana City was unbeaten on 8. Duvindu Tilakaratna was unbeaten on 1. And uh, Fernando was out uh, for 1. Nuan Pradeep 3 for, 2 for 38 of his 4 was. 2 for 44 of 4 to Damika Prasad. 2 for 48 of 4 to Madhushankar. Asalanka 42 of his 4. Jaila just 1 over for 8. And Vanda said 3 overs, 1 for 25. Uh, made in the Siruva that did bowl himself. So the partnerships 18 there in the uh, start. Then we had a 30 run partnership. Uh, the highlight was uh, Rambukwala and Udavata making a 46 between them uh, uh, that time uh, for the uh, fourth wicket. And uh, it is uh, a very good effort. Uh, so wickets uh, right throughout, uh, but uh, high rise buildings because of uh, Rambukwala. A couple of overs going over the 15 run mark, a couple of overs reading the 15 run mark. It has been a good performance right throughout. So 208 for victory in the uh, 20 overs uh, or 209 for victory. 208 for 8 is what the mass holdings got there at the end. And uh, as you see, 14 sixers in all, 12 boundaries and runs uh, right along the ground here at the oval uh, the Pesara in the Colombo. So it's going to be a good run chase. They have some good batters uh, as well. Uh, the likes of uh, Kitru and Vitana again, meeting the Siri Wardena, very capable players. And they'll have a lot to do in this run chase uh, when they come out uh, to bat. We'll be back with you with the live coverage in a short while. Welcome back. Uh, we are about to resume uh, the run chase for TJ Lanka. 280 is uh, what they made. 209 for victory for TJ Lanka. Masi Unichela, massive total on the board. <laughs> Rambukwela, 105, leading the way, supported by Udavatu, made 36. TM Sampatu made 18. There was quite a number of extras. A few wides going down to the boundary. Both Nuan Pradeep and Dhammika Prasad in particular strain and uh, that really caused a problem overall i think we had around 30 extras uh, and i think uh, that was a real problem indeed uh, uh, for tj lanka so 23 wides in total and three leg buys so 23 wides uh, almost four overs that uh, really uh, cost them tilakaratna delshan is opening the ball in uh, for unichella So Ishar Amar Singh has been uh, given the ball. A handy performer, very experienced uh, player. Has been around the circuit for quite a while, been a lot of uh, domestic cricket, played for Sri Lanka. Was with a lot of pace, now giving his everything here for Mars Unichella. One slip in position.
now going for a scoop. Doesn't make contact. Jalat trying something different. Trying to use the pace of Amar Singh. Fine leg is in the circle. So he's uh, bowling well. There's just a slip. Rambukwala is a slip. Dilshan is at uh, a mid wicket in a catch in position. Maharuf is at a short fine. Tamar Silva at mid off. Deep square leg is in position. He'll just keep it to a single. Good flat return. Good cricket. Tilakaratna out there. With Anagay looking to go over mid wicket, looking to hike it. Big inside edge, just a single. He's been out of form, Akitru and with Anage. We haven't seen him score many runs in the 50 over league tournament or the knockout tournament. <coughs> Hasn't done much with the bat. Has opened the innings, batted in the middle order. Hasn't had uh, much success. It was the bowlers who have won games uh, for TJ Lanka, but today the bowlers uh, have not delivered. The batsmen have to step up. Amra Singh used to have a long run up, but now a much shorter run up. <coughs> Just trying to go wicket to wicket. Still bows at a good pace. <coughs> Was one of the quickest at what time in Sri Lanka. Drags it towards mid because that would be the boundary. Finally, Kitru Alvithanage gets enough bat onto it. A big attempt from the banner, deep scroll. I couldn't drag it in. Four runs to end the over. And uh, at the end of the uh, second over, it is uh, 14 uh, without loss. We have a change of uh, bowling, uh, just a one over bowl by Dilshan, and it's uh, Faviz Maruf uh, who's been given the ball from uh, the media center end at the oval. Well, it's going to be a free hit. It's a no ball. The first uh, free hit uh, uh, for today. We didn't see any no balls. Credit to TJ Lanka when they were bowling. They bowled a lot of wides, but no no balls. And now uh, it seems that. Uh, Mas Unichela have started off the extras column with the no balls. Maharuf overstepping. So opportunity here. Opportunity to get a boundary uh, for uh, Jalat. They need to keep uh, getting these runs. A uh, good hit straight back over the bowler's head. This could be for Jalat just going deep into his uh, crease and uh, hitting it uh, well lower. The bowler's head, no chance for mid off or mid on. So Maruf uh, 
guilty there. No ball which has gone for four. He's given away five runs now. Jalat has struck his second boundary. Quick single, good running between the wickets. Call, good response by Vitana Gay. Direct hit, but uh, Jalat was uh, safely home. So the total into the 20s now, the required run rate still hovering uh, uh, around that uh, 10 runs per mark, 10.80. Maruf will have to keep changing his field, the left hand, right hand combination. There is one man who has come into short third now. There's a short fine leg. So a deep square leg. And a long one. Those are the two men out on the boundary line. Clearly going down the leg side. Swinging into the uh, left hander. Now this is an interesting field. Uh, Maruf has two men deep on the on side. Dilshan in the 30 yard circle at mid wicket, Tisharama Singh at short fine. He's a packed offside field. Five fields are on the offside and uh, four on the on, and he's still bowling on the leg stump. So is he going to uh, keep it straight, make uh, Vitanagi do something different? Yes, as you see, he's bowling it full and trying to make uh, Vitanagi go through the offside, but uh, he's not made contact once again. Not timed it at all. He's uh, wanting a change to his bat signal into the dressing room. He hasn't uh, really timed it so far in uh, the seven deliveries he's uh, faced. Oh, Marus have cleaned him up. Jailat going across the line, trying to hit him through mid-wicket. Missed it completely. Far is Maruf has uh, struck. He's picked up his first wicket. Dilhan and Jailat, he looked good, but hasn't stayed there long enough. Pressure to score quick runs. He's out for 13 of 13, two fours. And uh, Unicella have made early roads uh, through the experience of uh, is Maruf. So the new batsman is uh, Minod Banuka, coming in at number three for TJ Lanka. Another highly talented player, played for Sri Lankan A, the wicketkeeper. A lot depends on him uh, to get some runs here. So once again, we have a change of bowling. Tilakaratna Dilshan has come on to bowl. Uh, he's changed ends. He bowled one ever from the media sent in. Now he's on from the commentator box end to replace Indishar Amr Singh. We know the Banuka is at the non strikers. The new man, Kitruan Vitanage, he's on strike. He's on seven.
Sumino da Banuka. Well spread out field, the five men on the offside, short third, backward point, cover point, extra cover, long off. Short fine leg, short uh, backward square leg, mid on on the own side. Uh, just knocking it back, no chance of a single, though good uh, stuff by Tilakaratna Dilshan. You see he ran across, dummied the batsman, he was uh, sort of trying, looking to feel that. And the fieldsman, uh, batsman thought he would get to it, but uh, and uh, he couldn't. Still, there was no chance of a single. This time, much better. Minot Banuga using his feet. He's off the mark. another single with Anage trying to really hit the ball too hard I, I feel he's not looking to time the ball he's trying to just power his way and not getting his timing at all correct hasn't uh, looked in control so far nine of nine good over by Tilakaratna Deshan excellent stuff four was completed it's a 25 for 1. Good stop, Faris Maruf rushing with Anage, looking for the pull. Came on to him uh, quicker than he expected. One man, uh, one man uh, at uh, deep uh, square. The only man out uh, on the boundary line, so a bit of open spaces. Well, they appeal for a call behind. But Vimla City says not out, a bit of pad. With Anage looking now for the pedal. So Maru for three dot balls. Excellent stuff for so far. This time gets a bat onto it, but just a single. Harris Maru for experience, bowling to his field, bowling it full, keeping it on middle and leg. Not giving the batsman any room at all, any room to free the arms, anything uh, to get under it, hit it uh, over the top. Single of the fourth delivery will bring uh, Minot Banuk on strike.
So now it's uh, beg your pardon with Danagi, who is our striker, picks up a single. Well, excellent over. Five overs completed, 27 for one. And Jalat was out for 13. Vitanake is on 10, Banuka is on three. Both batsmen struggling to really get the tempo going. They need to have over 10 runs per over. It's over 12 runs per over now at the moment. So right on top at the moment is uh, Masi Unicella. So Dilshan will bowl his uh, third over. Oh, hit powerfully back at the bowler. Good stuff. Feeling on his follow through. Still uh, one of the better fielders uh, in Sri Lanka, Dilakaratna Dilshan, even at his age of uh, 38. Still fit and uh, going strong. This time I place it on the offside, straight towards extra cover. Cannot beat uh, Udawatta, who is at extra cover. So Vitanage is uh, struggling to really uh, find the gaps. So is Baruka. This time a short delivery has he put it away. Just a single. Good fielding once again at long on. They haven't been able to put the loose ball away as uh, TJ Lanka so far. Not enough boundaries. Goes for the sweep, big top edge, falls in no man's land. Tilakaratna Dilshan is rushing through his over. The runs are coming in singles. This is the final over of the power play, and the TJ Lanka are way behind the required run rate. Oh, he's nowhere. Tilakaratna Dilshan has outthought him. Kitruan Vitanage coming down the track, beaten in the flight, a bit of a turn. And uh, his uh, brother TM Sampath whips off the bills. This is uh, another poor batting performance by Vitanage, another poor dismissal. Hasn't uh, really looked good at all uh, so far for TJ Lanka in the last couple of games. We have seen him bat. And TM Sampat, the wicketkeeper, takes the bills. Uh, 14 deliveries for his level, struck one boundary. It's a two down for 29.
So the new batsman in is uh, Shalika Karnanayaka. He's been among the runs. He's been uh, performing. A half century in the uh, knockout tournament, 50 over knockout tournament. A half century, a brilliant half century in the finals of the 50 over knockout tournament at the MC grounds. He's been in form and uh, he's coming at a number four year. They need Shalika Karnanayaka to get going. TJ Lanka needs something special because they're really behind the ball here at the moment. 29 for 2. Excellent over. Excellent over by Tilaka Ratnadishan. 6 completed. 29 for 2. So Amar Singh, a change of ends. He's come on uh, replacing Maruf at the opposite end, uh, the media center end. He's into his second over. So Tilakarat Nadeshan switching his bowlers around. Well, that's a good hit. Karnanaka giving himself some room. He did it over mid-off. His first boundary is off the mark straight away. This is what is uh, needed. They need boundaries at regular intervals. At least a couple of boundaries every over. And uh, as you could see, he didn't try to hit it uh, too hard. It just uh, timed it, used the pace of the bowler. Whereas uh, the likes of Vitanage and uh, Banuka are trying to hit the ball, hammer the ball, power it away. And they're not got their timing right. But Karnanaka just using uh, the pace and uh, sweetly timed for four runs. This time uh, down the ground towards the long off. Just a single. Amar Singh up bowling well, though he was hit for a boundary, very steady at the moment, just bowling wicket to wicket, keeping things tight. 
lots of experience, lots of first class domestic cricket behind him. Ishar Raman Singh into his second over. He's gone for 14. Once again, uh, Kamala Nayaka easing it onto the offside. Picks up one more. Seven overs completed, 37 for two. So we have a change of bowling, uh, replacing Tilakaratna. Dilshan is uh, doing the Tilakaratna. He was uh, the leading wicket taker in the uh, 50 over competition, the knockout and uh, league competition. Son of uh, former Sri Lanka test captain Ashan Tilakaratna will pull his left arm si uh, spinners. Straight away comes down the rack, lofts it high, and then some over long off. Shalika Karnanaka. He's in a tremendous form at the moment. He's really striking the ball well, continuing his good form from the 50 over competition. And uh, he's moved up to 12 of just uh, six deliveries quite quickly. Well, that was in the air for a while. Catchable. Faris Maruf was under it, got his hands under it. But unfortunately, at the last moment, it slipped off. He's not the quickest fielder uh, these days. Years are coming by. Faris uh, Maruf. Important position. The long off for the left arm spinner. Failed to hang on. Karuna Nayaka gets alive. They needed this uh, TJ Lanka. They needed some luck going their way. And unfortunate uh, for Tilakaratna. So another single, Banuka is uh, also struggling a bit. He's moved to seven, similar sort of innings like a novel played uh, for Mars uh, Unicella. Uh, Banuka at the moment, seven of 12, really not being able uh, to get the boundaries. So it's a lot of pressure on Karna Nayaka. He has to do uh, the main work here at the moment. Sachitra Sena Nayak is out with injury now. He was one of their key players for TJ Lanka, both with the bat, ball, his experience and goes Karnanaka high, handsome over mid wicket. Clear the ropes quite easily onto the grass banks. He has the oval, second six of the over. So Tilakaratna is straight away under pressure. Well, two sixers off the bat of Karnanaika. Will this be the third? It could be out caught. It's going to be six more. Another one. And doing the Tilakaratna is really being uh, taken to the cleaners here. The young man finding his way, feeling his way through in uh, this uh, competition. Emerging player. But the experience Karnanaika, 25 of nine, three sixers, one four. 
One six over long off, one over long on, and one over deep mid wicket. Runs uh, at the moment uh, on in front of uh, the uh, wicket. Favoured areas is from long off uh, to deep mid wicket. It's a lot of sixers in this uh, that area. We saw that uh, in the final of the Mercantile Knockout Tournament at the MCA grounds, where he had a lot of sixers in that uh, match. Ah, uh, this time wide right outside the off stump. He thought the batsman will charge. So he bowled it very wide, but Karnanaka stayed in his crease. With outside the off stump. A single uh, to end the over. Karnanaka is moved to 26 of just 10 deliveries. Eight hours completed. 59 for two. Well, 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 Thilakaratna Delshan has uh, struck gold. He's got the wicket of Shalika Karnanaka. One that came through, zipped through. Karnanaka looking to run it down the third man, missed it. His off stump has been knocked back. This is the experience we're talking about. The young man, Thilakaratna, went for 20 of his over. He came back, replaced Jara Amar Singh. It was his last over, Thilakaratna Delshan, his fourth of this match. And uh, he thought uh, the important wicket was Karnanaka. He thought he'll try his best uh, to get him out, and he's got him off the very first ball. 26 of 11, 3 sixes, 1 for it. was a good innings, though. Uh, set the tempo once again, uh, Karna Naika at uh, Marcio Nichila, right on top at the moment of uh, 59 for the loss of uh, three wickets. Uh, this will bring in uh, Tilakara uh, Melinda Siruadana. So I think it's Melinda Siruadana who is uh, the new batsman in. Uh, he's the captain today for TJ Lanka. A lot to do for the Sri Lankan national. He have to score big here if uh, Yuri Chila going to get close or uh, TJ Lanka going to get closer to this uh, total. So the new batsman in uh, Siri Wadden at the moment. Uh, Banuka has to, uh, to really get going. He's on seven still. Oh, he's on eight now with that single. But he has to really uh, up the tempo here. 
They need the boundaries, uh, the required run rate is 12.87. You need a couple of boundaries every over. Two for 15 into his fourth over. Tilakaratna Belshan, outstanding figures. Leading from the front, if not with the bat, with the ball. This time slowing it up. Dragging it short, but much slower. No pace at all uh, for City Wardena to work with. Once again, he has to use all the pace he could get. Dilshan bowling is slower and slower. Jauna Wani sweeps. Just a single brilliant over by Tilakaratna Dilshan. Four overs, two for 16. Incredible stuff. Nine overs completed at 63 for three. So the new bowler is Anuka Fernando. Change uh, in uh, the bowling. Tilakaratna bowled one over for 20. Was expensive. Anuk Fernando left arm seamer. Sri Lankan under 19 cap a couple of years ago. Short third backward point. Deep extra cover. Extra cover is the field set on the offside. Just the singles at the moment is all uh, the batsman can get. So the runs are just coming in singles at the moment. It's a quiet proceedings here. Banuka, Minut Banuka unable to get the bowlers away. Now there's Mill in the city than so far. Oh, going for a big hit, swinging outside the off stump.
Well, giving himself some room uh, this time, launching it at six runs. He's cleared the ropes. The ball angling into him, the left arm seamer. Vinod Banuka this time manages uh, to get it over the ropes. A welcome boundary from himself and uh, TJ Lanka. Ten overs completed, 73 for three. You could see one high rise building that was the over of uh, Tilakaratna when Karna Nayaka went after him, got over 20 runs. This last over, the second best of uh, 10 runs. But uh, before that, uh, there was uh, nothing much. It has been uh, just a few singles, the odd boundary. And the three wickets are uh, falling at uh, regular intervals. Uh, so the first uh, 10 completed in this uh, second innings. 10 more to go. A lot more to get. 13.60 uh, is the required run rate. Rambukwala is uh, going to do some bowling. He's off spinners. Uh, from uh, the uh, media center end. So welcome to the bowling, Chris, uh, says Melinda Sirivodana, lofting Rambukwala over the bowler's head for six runs. Good hit, well-timed, this will give him a lot of confidence. He's moved into double figures. This time he's hit it inside out, that's a classical shot. That's beautifully played uh, by Sirivodana. Now this is uh, a really a good hit. Didn't try to hit it hard, just uh, timed it sweetly over extra cover. There was a man at sweeper cover, there was a man at long off right between them, but over the ropes as well for six runs. And now that was a classical shot. Two sixers of uh, two deliveries of Rambukwella. He's getting his own medicine back. Remember, he went after the DJ Lanka bowling, hit to Van Der for a couple of sixers in two balls. And he's been given the same treatment. So I'm uh, fire sitting. See what the Nijas is quickly. So 85, those two uh, sixers have certainly helped. This time down on one knee, sweeps. Good fielding at deep square leg, like Tilakaratna. Or is it Sumanasiri? Okay, it's uh, Tilaksha Sumanasiri diving uh, towards his right at uh, deep square leg. Gets uh, only a single Siri Vardhana. Now, oh, Binod Banuka hasn't looked good at all. This time trying to swing across the line. He's hit the 6 1 6, but 17 of 18. Hasn't uh, really uh, been in control. Trying different things, trying the river sweep, still not able to get the ball away. Shot ball to end the over 11, completed 86 for 3. Well, pressure telling on the batsman. Sirivodana is gone. Trying to hammer Anuk Fernando over extra cover. Gets a top edge. The ball in the air for a while. And the fieldsman, uh, Sumana Siri, under it uh, at backward point. Holds on to the catch. And uh, the fourth wicket down uh, for TJ Lanka. 86 for four now. They lost their captain, Sirivodana, who struck two sixers in the last over. 
is out uh, for 17. And uh, City Board, 17 of 11, two sixers in that innings. Caught so many City Ball, Anouk Fernando. In uh, some sort of trouble now at 86 uh, for four. Charit Asalanka will be the new batsman in uh, uh, for TJ Lanka. So Minot Banuka has to do something special here. Yeah? 17 of 19. Fernando has picked up a wicket. What is he trying to do? He's trying to play a, a sort of a reverse battle with a short third man cover point inside the circle. He's really struggled it out, uh, Banuka. Has really not got his uh, game right here. Not uh, really planned his innings probably. Looking for the spotted the areas he shoots score runs. He's uh, struggled to time the ball. Now this is better. Now this is what we are talking about. Minot Banuka comes down the track and launches it high over the bowler's head uh, for six runs. This is much better cricket. If you can play shots like that, why play the river sweep, the paddle sweep? If you're good playing straight down the ground. Because as you see, he has uh, the power to hit straight down the ground. You can go for the shots, extra covers in the circle, anything over his head. Also there is some runs on offer. All right, in the block hole, beautifully done by Anouk Fernando. What a comeback. Minot Banuka giving himself some room. And Anouk Fernando yoking him, knocking his leg stump back. Brilliant stuff. And a wicket uh, uh, for Marcio Nicola. 92 for 5 now. Banuka departs, bowled by Anouk Fernando for 25. 22 balls, just uh, two sixers, a strike rate of 104. And... Uh, this is uh, lots of uh, trouble for uh, TJ Lanka now. Looks a long, long way off uh, now This uh, getting these runs. I don't think uh, they have enough bad in firepower to get them through in this game. They missed uh, some of the experienced players like Suranga Lakmal and Lasit Malinga who led them in the 50-over uh, tournament right from uh, the top. That is certainly has uh, played against them uh, at the moment. So Chalana De Silva didn't do any bowling today. Surprisingly, he was one of their best bowlers in the 50-over competition. I thought he should have bowled a few overs, but he was uh, not used. And can he do something with the bat?
So very good over by Anuk Fernando. Outstanding stuff for wicket taking over. 12 completed, 94 for 5 at the moment. He went uh, for six runs uh, when he was struck by Barnuka, but came back to get that wicket. Strong comeback. And now TJ Lanka. Required run rate 14.38, almost 15 runs per over in the last eight. Five wickets in hand. Certainly looks impossible. Remember, there's the second semi final coming up as well. And that will be LB Finals taking on Dimo in the second semi final. That will be played in the afternoon right after this game. So if you are with us, uh, you could uh, stay on uh, to see who will be the victorious in the second semi-final. LB Finance, the finalist in the 50-over uh, format, lost to TJ Lanka. Dimo have played well in this uh, tournament too. So Maruf back into the attack, uh, picked up a one wicket earlier on. Replacing uh, Rambukwell. So Chalana De Silva is on still two openings a counter. Salanka is on two. They need boundaries, they need boundaries badly. It has to come quickly from either or both of these batsmen. Chalana De Silva goes for the ball. It's in the air, could be out caught. He's taken the catch. Ishara Amar Singh, is it? Or is it doing the Tilakaratna? Either way, Chalna De Silva has been dismissed. A short ball tested him. Uh, Maruf, he took him on. The right decision, he had to go for his shots. Pulled it, but just could not uh, get it over the fieldsman head uh, at uh, Deep Square Leg. And a wicket is down, the sixth down at the moment uh, uh, for TJ Lanka. So Anuk Fernando he was the, the catcher. So Anuk Fernando the catcher and uh, So nevertheless, 95 for 6, it's uh, Damika Prasad who is in the centre now. He can lose the long handle. He has to do it here. He has to do it in a quick session. Damika Prasad, no time for him to really uh, settle down. They need runs quickly. And uh, Damika Prasad has to come good if they're even having a chance of getting close to this target.
Maruf ball very bowling very well at the moment. He's picked up two for ten. Bowling wicket to wicket, not giving him anything away. Bowling in a good rhythm. Keeping things in control. Ball into his field. He's bringing long off into the circle now. Long off comes into the circle. Long on drops back. So finally, a single off for Marut. Damika Prasad gets one. End of the over. 13 uh, completed, 96 for six. So not much of big scores. Uh, Jailat for 13, Vitanagi 11, Banuka 23. Karunanayaka was the, the best, uh, 26 of 11. Siri for 17. Chalna Diesel for, for naught. And uh, these two uh, players... Uh, still Asalanka on two, Damika Prasad on one. They have a lot to do. TJ Lanka missed a few costly catches. Could have probably restricted the opposition for 280. They dropped by Rambuk while when he was in the 80s. A simple chance. Then Udabatta was uh, dropped as well in the latter part of his innings. Those really counted against them. And 30, 23 wides. That has been really uh, the big difference, uh, I would say, uh, in this game. Putting a lot of pressure on the TJ Lanka batting. Anuk Fernando will continue to bowl. Goes inside out. It's in the uh, fieldsman running back. Holds on to a very good catch. Running back uh, from backward point. Outside edge. Uh, ballooned in there for quite a while. And uh, that was a good catch indeed. Uh, uh, by the fieldsman. We're not sure who it was. Uh, was it uh, Sumana Siri? And uh, Pasad has to go. Damika Pasad is the best man out. They've held on to some good catches. Certainly has been a big difference. The new batsman, I think, is uh, Jeffrey Vandese, is it? Jeffrey Van Der Sey is the new batsman in. The single uh, to Charit Asalanka. He's not got much of the strike. While it's all been happening at the opposite end, wickets have been falling. He's scored three of three now. Mm. When they say very capable, we saw him play some good innings uh, in the UAE versus Pakistan in the 50 over uh, format. Hanging in there, can bat, but uh, certainly this is uh, too much of a task uh, here. Over 15 runs per over.
Anuk Fernando 3 for 18 at the moment. Maru has picked up two. Dishan picked up two. They have been outstanding. So Marcio Nicola right on top at the moment. A required run rate it is 18 runs per over from here onwards. Just three wickets in hand. Almost impossible. So Marcio Nicola crawling their way into the finals, which will be played on Sunday, the 19th at the MCA grounds. Full toss on leg stump. They'll pick up another run to end the over. 14 completed, 99 for 7. So Dilshan, outstanding four overs, two for 17. Maruf has picked up two. Three to uh, Anuk Fernando. Ishara Amar Singh back into the attack. He's bowled a couple of overs. He's bowled well. Goes over the offside. That's a powerful strike uh, by uh, Asalanka. Ishara Fernando introducing the attack with an off outside the off stump. And he just went through with the shot. Good flow of the bat. Six runs uh, to Charita Asalanka, the young man, up and coming player, emerging player. A lot of potential. Look forward uh, for the future. Sam swings it through, a square leg, four more. Intelligent batting, just walking across his thumbs, down on one knee, using the pace of Amara Singer, and he picks up a boundary. Similar shot, but this time uh, there is uh, Sumana Siri who is at uh, short fine leg. Good bowling, good comeback. Amara Singha bowling full. 
bowling right into the block hole. He knows uh, the intentions of uh, Charita Salanka. Experience is Sharamra Singh. Trying to hit the block hole. It's a Nelson on the board at the moment. Yeah, he goes over mid wicket, but uh, Asalanka is up to the task. A lot of a bottom hand into that. Just walked across his st stump, so whipped it uh, from his uh, presence. Now he's a small lad, but that uh, really uh, was powerfully struck. Uh, Ishara Amrasinghe has uh, been taken for runs in this over. 15 overs completed. It's 117 for seven. Sanuk Fernando into his uh, last over, picked up three wickets. He's bowled well today, Anuk Fernando. Vandase getting a single, giving in his uh, main batsman Asalanka the strike. Good batting by Jeffrey Vandase. Just rotating the strike, keeping things going. 91 required of 29, long way uh, for TJ Lanka. Twenty-six of eleven, two fours, uh, two sixes uh, uh, to uh, Charita Salanka. One over mid wicket, one over long off uh, those sixes. Both of uh, Ishar Amar Singh uh, really uh, took a like into the Amar Singh's pace. <laughs> Went after him, but uh, it's a long overall three for twenty-five. Anu Fernando at the other end has done well with the ball, held on to a catch as well. Giving himself some room, driving, uh, but cannot beat mid off. The bowler followed the batsman. Good thinking. Well, it's in the air. Uh, six runs, though. Once again, using his power. Was Asalanka pitched up to him, Manuk Fernando, going over mid off, clearing his uh, front leg. That was a good hit. This shows the talent uh, of uh, Charita Asalanka. A lot spoken about him. Potential for the future for Sri Lanka. And he's uh, showing it right. 32 or 14. Oh, that's beautifully done. Uh, using his feet and hammering it over the bowler's head uh, straight as a dice. That's wonderfully struck. He's a small lad, uh, Charita Salanka. But uh, he's uh, powerfully striking that ball. He's 4 6, 16 overs completed, 134 for 7.
So, well, we have a small hold up. Ramit Ramukwal was supposed to bowl, but he was off the field for a while. So, Ampai Vimala City says he has to wait a while more. So, Tilak Ratna Dilshan is uh, quite angry about that with his uh, teammate uh, Ramukwal. Said you should have come onto the field quicker. And Nisha Ramarasinghe has to bowl his next over. He was expensive in the last one. And Dilshan wanted Rambukwala to bowl. But uh, unfortunately, he cannot do that. He has some options, though. We haven't seen uh, Tilakaratna being used. He bowled only one over, Tilakaratna. So there is uh, some options uh, left. But uh, Amrasinga will uh, run in. It's in there. Could be out caught. When does he go in for the pull? Holds on to long on. Top edge. Comfortable catch. Ishara Amrasinga has uh, picked up uh, his wicket. His first wicket. And uh, when they say walks back, so it's 134 for seven now. So Anuk Fernando once again, the catcher, he's been highly active. Three wickets, two catchers to his name. 134 for seven at the moment. Jeffrey Bendis out for two or five deliveries. Krasun Madhushanka will be the new man in for TJ, but it's uh, Asalanka who is on strike. Uh, he's uh, been uh, hitting some uh, sixers and boundaries uh, in the last couple of overs. Can we see more of uh, Charita Asalanka? Oh, it's in the other. This time trying to go over mid wicket. Will it fall in no man's land? Yes, it will. Nobody under it. Rambukwell was at deep mid wicket. Uh, there was a man coming in from uh, long on. Nobody in the circle on the onside uh, to get to that. Asalanka uh, is lucky. He picks up two more. Oh, this time goes. Is it going to be out? Fernando is under it. Yes, he is. He scooped it in there finally. Amar Singh gets his man. He went for a few runs, but he's got rid of Asalanka. 40 of 17. It has been a classic good innings by young Charita Asalanka. Uh, brilliantly played as he walks back uh, to the Brazilian. It's 136 for 8. So Fernando takes his third catch, three wickets. He's had a very good game. Four sixers, uh, two fours in that innings of 40 for Salanka. Showed what he's capable of. It's 136 for nine. So Nuan Pradip, uh, the last man in. Nine wickets down. Madhu Shankar will be on strike.
That was a quick delivery to Nuan Pradeep from Amar Singh. A lot of pace, uh, shoulder into that uh, final delivery. Uh, Pradeep uh, though leaves it alone. 17 completed, 137 for 9. So change of bowling, we have uh, Tilakaratna replacing Anuk Fernando. Anuk Fernando bowled out his four overs. Tilakaratna expensive, uh, one for 22 of his first over. Uh, none for 22 of his first over. Kasun Madhushanka looking to high and doesn't make contact. Hammers it hard, but Tilakaratna does well. He has the opportunity of picking a wicket. Bit of advice from his captain, Dilshan, probably telling him to give it a little more. Yeah, entice him uh, to hit it. Probably he'll hit one in there or get stumped. Tra yes, there you go, much slower. He hammers it. One bouncer too long on, doesn't get hold of it. This will be in uh, Nuan Pradeep. Yes, he was bowling a bit too quick, telling him to bowl it much slower. Nuan Pradeep goes. He's hitting for six as well. Down on one knee. Nuan Pradeep hiking it over mid wicket. Tilakaratna has had a bad day. Once again, he fired it in. I think this has been the mistake. Uh, if you saw how Tilakaratna Dilshan bowled earlier, he was bowling it much slower, giving it a lot of air. And the batsman have to really work uh, to get the pace to hit it. But Tilakaratna bowling a bit too quick on this wicket. And uh, Nuan Pradeep is just striking it well. Six more. He's had a very, very poor day. Tilakaratna. He's been hammered in his uh, two overs. 18 completed. It's 150 for 9. So Maruf into the attack. He'll be bowling uh, to Madhu Shankar. Oh, he gets an outside edge. Kasun Madhu Shankar runs it uh, towards third man for four. A short delivery. Third man was in the circle. Runs it down uh, just uh, wide of the wicket keeper. Few round rays coming in here. But still a long way to go. Not 
Shankar rocking it across his thumbs, trying to play a pencil shot. Slow delivery by Maruf. Well, it's all happening. Batsman dancing along around the crease. <laughs> Maruf mixing it up. He was not happy though. Now he's bringing in long off and pushing uh, a fine leg back onto the boundary. Coming back for two, good run in between the wickets. The one Pradeep Kasim Madhushanka picked up a two more. <laughs> Well, that's the end uh, of the game. Scoop one uh, to mid off. Maru picks up a wicket, his uh, second, or his third, in fact. 156 all out, TJ Lanka. Unfortunately, the uh, knockout 50 over champions cannot make it to the T20 final. They have been beaten by the better side, uh, much experienced and uh, in depth side of uh, Mars Unichella. Tilakaratna Dilshan leading the way. Brilliant batting by them, over 200 runs. Ramut Kuala making a fabulous 100, supported by Uduvatu with 36. But Dilshan with the ball, three wickets. And uh, also contributions from Marif, Maruf and Anuk Fernando, who did brilliantly with the ball. A massive uh, win. So 52 runs uh, victory. The last man out, Madhushanka for eight. So 52 runs uh, a victory uh, for TJ Lanka. Uh, for Mars Unichella over TJ Lanka. 52 run uh, victory, massive victory comparison in this game in a T20 uh, cricket. Uh, so so congr congratulations. Uh, So 52 run victory. So Marcio Nicola will go through to this uh, final, which will be played on Sunday at the MCA grounds. Will they take on Dimo or T O? will be financed. The second semi-final will be coming up at 1.45 p.m. And of course, we'll be here with you for this live broadcast on uh, Batsman.com. Who will face off against Mars Unichella in the Mercantile Cricket Association, the MCA Tier A T20 competition 2017-18? It's been a good performance by Mars Unichella. They didn't uh, make much headway. Jailat was out for 13 with Tanagi for 11. Banuka for 23. Karnanaka was the best with 26. Sirivadana for 17. Uh, De Silva fell for uh, 0. But uh, Charit Tasalanka, 40 of 17. He was outstanding. Damika Prasad and the rest uh, could not do much. Tilakaratna Dilshan, 4 was 2 for 17. Outstanding figures. Maruf, 3.4 was 3 for 17. Anuk Fernando, 3 for 77. They were uh, the chief uh, destroyers. Amr Singh picked up 2 wickets as well. Tilakaratna had a bad day at the office. So not many partnerships, uh, as you can see, 19, 17, 14, uh, not really good enough. 18 uh, towards the end uh, for the eighth wicket between Asalanka and Vandese. Those uh, didn't uh, really count. Uh, they needed somebody to go big and a big partnership uh, to help them through. 
They needed a lot more tall buildings. Uh, the required run rate was over 10 runs per over. But you could see only one over went for 22. That was of Tilakaratna, a couple over 15. But the rest uh, were well below 15. And most of the overs well below the required uh, run rate of 10 runs uh, per over. So TJ Lanka struck 13 boundaries, 7 fours and 13 sixers in the 18.4 overs of 157. And most of those sixers came to Karnanayaka and uh, Asalanka. Uh, towards uh, the end. Uh, not enough boundaries. Uh, they needed a lot more. They were never in really uh, over 10 runs up over. They were never uh, able uh, to uh, get to that uh, target. They were always, uh, except for probably the third over of play, they were always uh, behind the required run rate and uh, could not uh, make it. Uh, so 52 run victory from Mars Unichela and uh, they will go through uh, to uh, the uh, final of the MCA Premier 220 competition which will be played on uh, Sunday. Rambo Kuala un will be the man of the match. 105 of 52. He was outstanding. Uh, not much uh, in the bowling figures. They were all expensive. Nuan Pradeep 2 for 38. Dameka Prasad 2 for 44. Madhushanka 2 for 48. And uh, as you can see here, uh, Asalanka 40. Karnanayaka 26. Banuka 23. Maru outstanding 3 for 17. Fernando 3 for 37. He took 3 catches as well. Anuk Fernando. And uh, Tilakaratna Dilshan leading the way uh, with the ball. Two for 17 of his uh, four was. Uh, Mars Unichel have won by 52 runs the first semi final of this MCA Premier League 220 uh, competition 2017. We will be back with the second semi final in approximately 45 minutes. 1 45 pm start. It will be Dimo taking on LB Finance. Uh, till then, uh, it's back over to the uh, main control room. <laughs> 